Hi guys, welcome to the Angular Coder. This is Gaurav, your host, and today we are going to talk about dreams and the way to achieve those. I am going to talk about pure preparation strategy for Google and what my interview experience was, what you can learn from each of those rounds. So please try to stick till the end of this video. Now let's begin with our video. Before I begin, I would want to talk a little bit about what my background is. I am for a tier 3 college, Haldia Institute of Technology. It's a very average kind of college. Think about how average I am talking about. We only got Wipro in our days as like only company which took candidates from our college. And my previous companies have been Philips, Morgan Stanley, VMware. These are all product based companies, but they are not as big as the FANG or MANG, whatever you call them, the top tier companies. And in my 8.5 years of experience being a UI developer, data structure and algorithm are not my forte. And you can just imagine me being at a nil state when I started preparing for Google. How much time did it took me to prepare for Google? I took around 1.5 months of time to prepare and Zulfi, my friend whose video you can see in this uh, on the top right corner or something or in details, he helped me strategize for it. He just simply told me to go to lead code and try to solve as many problems as you can. I had a little bit tweak into that. What I did is I went into lead code, took its premium subscription, went to its problem, went to Google tagged problems sorted the problems by frequency and started solving from the top which means that the questions which are coming at the top is more frequent has been asked many times in google and the ones which is coming below is not as much as frequent but there was again another twist to it and we'll talk in detail about my strategy and how you can prepare so please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so all right now let's go into what my portfolio looks like i have solved 24 easy level question 101 medium level questions and 23 hard level question i focus more on understanding the problems rather than just simply solving before we go into what google rounds i had given let's take small time to understand how google interview process looks like you will have one screening round and as of 2022 right now google is taking four more rounds after that that four rounds which we are talking about if you get a very bad review in any of them you won't be moved further if you have given medium to good you might be taken to hiring committee now this committee is going to see if you are good enough for the job or if they require to do more rounds and if they ask you to do more rounds you might have to give more rounds after that that's the basic structure how feedback works you will be awarded one rank out of these six and the six ranks is as such strongly no hire you are not like you were not able to solve the problem you were not able to think about the problem you were not discussing anything with interviewer interview is really really not happy with you you will get strongly no hire then you get no hire where you were able to come up with a solution but it's not good i mean either it is not thing which you have thought you are not able to write it down in production level code or you are not able to think about the prop solution so you might get no hire lean to no hire means you were able to think about a problem you are able to write the a working code for that problem in note kind notepad kind of editor without any id support but that either that code is not that well optimized or your solution was not well optimized or there are small mistakes in the problem or something like that you will get leaning to no hire then you can get leaning to hire basically when you have a working solution but it's not that optimized I mean, you have gone till 90 95 percent of optimization but you've not done 100 percent of it interviewer in is in that kind of mood you'll get leaning to no hire then you get higher when you have written a perfectly working condi solution and the code and the thought process was explained to interviewer you are like quite communicative your programming skills are good your analytic skills are good you will get higher strong is something where 
you are like interviewer finds you as a genius i mean you are able to blow his mind out and he's like really stunned and amazed by the work you have done the quality of work the code is superb the analytical process or thinking process was amazing and you will get a strong hire that is the highest you can get one more thing we should talk before we go into rounds is each google interview round will be of 45 minutes out of which you should give your intro in one or two liners that's it and then go in details about problems try to take 40 minutes or 38 minutes of your complete interview in the problem itself take last 5 or 2 minutes time for discussing or asking any question to interviewer about culture about what they think how they work what the interviewer feels about google not about you don't ask what your feedback but talk about how the company is what culture what kind of teams are there and everything if you want to know now let's go to interview rounds and this is more specific for for an interview before we continue to interview i'll give you a small disclaimer that providing exact question might not be that much helpful for you i'll give you nearby question or questions which you can find in lead code and i'll try to explain the questions what are there in screening round i was asked two javascript based question which is related to callbacks and circuit breaker pattern you are getting failed responses from callbacks or the function call which have callbacks how you will handle them how you are going to handle asynchronous functions how you are going to handle circuit breaker pattern that kind of question was asked discussing the question solving the problem discussing uh, the requirements took around 30 minutes and this whole the whole thing till writing production ready code took 30 minutes after that interviewer went into lead code medium level question where that was a graph based question and it was to be solved through bfs you have to generate urgency matrix and then try to reach to solution after any of the google rounds generally you should get your feedback in 24 hours time my second round or you can think about first on site round after screening round all of the rounds in google is called on site round this kind of round was problem solving basically it will check your analytical skills and problem solving skills how they are going to test your problem solving or analytical skills you say they test analytics and problem solving skill through the way how you have reached towards solution how you are understanding the problem and if you can think about reaching to the solution in most optimized way personally since i was nervous in this round i was not able to perform that well it was a variation of house robber which i had practiced but since it was a variation and i was not able to think about it and i was nervous i was not able to do it very optimally and i got a leading to no higher for my scenario next round was googleness round where i was asked about my past experiences what adverse situations i have faced with colleague without colleague how i have solved my weaknesses or adverse situations how am i how i am doing it now with kind of important data points or quantifiable data points if you can do those your googleness round will be good okay after that there was a domain based round which was taken and many people don't know out there that google in google also there is a domain based round in back end there might be something but for front end it will be a plain javascript based question so in my case there was dom manipulation along with dom transversal color manipulation from hex code to rgb and different things there are different ways to store color so you have to think about all that there is a very vague requirement you have to understand the requirement you have to come up to solution and throughout the way you need to keep your discussions open with your interviewer after that there is a question is in lead code where there is a expression there 1 plus 1 or 2 plus 2 something like that right and you have to evaluate that expression which is present in string and provide a number output but some variation out of it i mean there was a string provided you have to decode that string and provide a output out of it the rules were given and that was my question for supposedly last round this kind of question was asked where i have to change string using stacks recursion and stuff and try to solve it 
One important thing in this round was time complexity. The program which I wrote had a different kind of structure and it was not very intuitive what time complexity it will be. And I took some time and we had a lengthy discussion about it, but I was able to solve it. Now, remember that when you are practicing questions, try to get or uh, understand what time complexity is. It is the core at what Google takes interview on. If you know about time complexity, if you know how much optimized your solutions are, you will be having a better time in Google interviews. After that, my report was sent to hiring committee and generally if you are good enough, you will be your packet will also be sent to hiring committee. Before a packet goes to hiring committee, you will get a chance to provide your inputs there like what open source contributions you have done what kind of achievements you have what kind of certifications you have you will you will be given chance to compile all of them and send to sc for me i gave youtube videos i create youtube videos and i gave the link in that also i have worked with some other proprietary softwares not from organization but my personal off time software so i gave a demo video for that also along with my SC packet. HC took some time and since I had one of my round feedback as leading to no hire, HC asked my recruiter if I wanted to have more rounds done. So I agreed to it and I had two more rounds done after that. One of the rounds was again on problem solving skills and that round was based on word ladder where basically there is there are there are strings in an array and there are some differences between strings and you have to find if one pair matches according to rule or not. It started with lead code medium level question and since I was able to answer that quickly, the question was turned into lead code hard and I was able to optimize it till 95. So I got leading to higher in this case and then I gave my last round which was a course prerequisite kind of question. This is a topological sorting of graph nodes. If you have solved some lead code medium level question, this type of question will be also part of your practice. And it was part of the set of questions which I had done. So I was able to solve this question. Then after that, again, my packet was sent to Etsy and they approved for higher and I got an offer from Google. At the end of day, what are the things which I learned from my Google interview? One thing was your recruiter is your best friend. I really appreciate my recruiter's effort which she took while scheduling or rescheduling my interviews and time she took between giving feedbacks was really nice. You should practice smart, not hard. If you are solving any question in lead code or any kind of platform which you want, you need to understand how you reached from question to solution you need to remember that you need to revise that to, be, before any of my rounds before all of my rounds i used to practice or revise all of the questions which i had already done how do i used to revise was reading through comments which i wrote i'll talk about these in my strategy video please press like if you are getting help with this video it is free for you but it helps me a lot one of the biggest thing which you can learn or one of the biggest thing which you can have which I didn't have was remaining calm during interview. If you are not calm in interview, generally your interview will not go that well. So try to be calm. Even if you have practiced less, if you are calm, you might be able to reach to a solution what your interviewer is asking. At the end of the day, try to communicate with them. They are trying to get best possible colleagues for themselves. That was my complete Google interview experience and I hope you really liked it. Please put your thoughts in comments and I'll be creating some of the videos for my Google life from now on so that you can enjoy that. Obviously, I'll create videos on Angular also. See you again and all the best to you.